Hello, welcome to Bonnyhood Snail Farm. If you are new to this channel, kindly like, subscribe to this channel. We play a major role in the solar snail farming systems and also the roles we play in our just produced BIM Bonnyhood Intensive Model System where we record extremely low mortality with a high survivability and very efficient egg laying rate. A lot of my followers have asked so many questions and which I've actually promised to answer one after the other after taking my time to go through all those questions. Now one of the most common questions asked by most of my followers is that why do I use sacks in my snail farm? If you have watched the part 1 and part 2 of my soilless snail farming videos which I made on YouTube a few months ago, you will discover that I mentioned reusable mulching materials in my Bonnyhood Intensive model. I was talking about the sacks and they made a very good replacement for the plantain leaves. Personally, using plantain leaves as mulch, mulching materials has always been a big turn. For that reason, I have always tried my best to see how I can have a replacement for these leaves due to the stress of sorting them, the frequently changing, the infect infections, bacteria, parasites, and all that that comes with those leaves. And finally, I come to realize that using sack bags is the perfect way to replace plantain leaves. And these sacks serves two major purposes. First, they serve as moisture retainers. Number two, they serve as breeze breakers. While we had them in the farm so that snails can hide under them and maintain their cool, their normal temperatures so they can perform at their best. And yet, we also use these same sacks to ensure that breeze does not get into the farm freely. So we use them to break the breeze that is getting access into the farm. That is if your farm is not in an enclosure. For you to appreciate this video, you have to understand that breeze and ventilation are two different things. So most of the times when I talk about breaking of breeze, stopping of breeze, preventing breeze, most persons think I'm actually stopping ventilation. No. Okay, so try to understand the difference between those two. They are very related, but they are not the same thing. Ventilation is good for the snails, but breeze must be controlled properly. If you don't have good measures of controlling breeze in your snail farm, you have issues with your farm. Definitely, you will. Very simple secret I learned early in snail farming was that Breeze is one of the greatest causes of mortality in a farm. Breeze is one of the greatest causes of mortality in a snail farm because it causes high dry out in the snails. Snails can hardly withstand dry out. So when the dry out comes, most times they don't even have the opportunity to estivate. They don't even have the opportunity to hibernate. So they just die massively. Most times people uh, think uh, the only thing that kills snow is infection and all that. But I tell you, breeze is one of the greatest causes. So we use these sacks to control the breeze that gets access into the farm. And it's extremely effective. In a simple term, the sack bags help us to curtail the dry out thereby controlling the breeze and then also helps us to maintain the moisture of the pen which gives the snails a lot of energy to survive and the good thing is we simply rinse these sacks in the water and put them back in the pen for use this is why we call them reusable materials and you don't have to rinse them always you rinse them once in the moon once in two moons, once in three moons, it all depends on how you manage your farm and how frequently the feces are dropped. I am already working on the video where I will take my time to describe from A to Z of the Bonnywood Intensive model. And then in that model, I will also talk about 
how exactly to use the sack bags for soilless snail farming. So kindly like and subscribe to the channel while I bring you more videos on soilless snail farming. Also share this video to your friends who are interested in soilless snail farming. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.